Hey. Hey, I'm coming up. Move over and let me in. I'm getting drenched out here. Okay, I'm in. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, is me being all wet a problem for you? Or to be a real shame if I were to shake my wet hair all over you? <laughs> Ow, hey! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Hmm, I do like the way you look with the water droplets sprinkled in your hair. What am I doing here? What do you mean? You told me you had a bad day, so I'm here. I'm here for you, love. <laughs> I know we're not kids anymore. I just thought I'd spice things up a bit, you know? <laughs> Besides, you needed me, right? Well, I'm here now. Here, let me take my wet coat off. Ah, <sighs> that's better. Come on, come cuddle with me. Come let me hold you, babe. Yeah, come cuddle up to me. Lay your head right here. Yeah, that's good. Right on my chest. Wrap your other arm around me. I'll put my arms here. Oh, I love it when you put your leg over mine like that. You feel so good to me, love. <sighs> Are you cold? Do you need a blanket? Okay, love. Can I touch your hair? I know you like it when I do that. I run my fingers through. Just like this. Love you, baby. You are so perfect to me. Okay, tell me about your day. What's got you so worked up? <laughs> gotcha. You know, love, I don't think things are as bad as you think. Yeah, baby. I mean, to me it sounds like you're stressed and you're having some anxiety. Um, but I do want to let you know that your feelings are still valid. Just because I don't see your issues as a big deal doesn't mean it doesn't feel like a big deal to you. Um, I hope that makes sense. I'm definitely not downplaying your worries, love. I know how you feel. I've been there many times before. It'll be okay, baby. I'm here. We'll make it okay. In that case, let's focus on calming you down then. Maybe we can put these feelings to rest and you'll be able to sleep tonight. Yeah, of course, love. I'll be able to help. <laughs> I should know a thing or two about anxiety by now. Look, I'll keep brushing my fingers through your hair. I already noticed your breathing slow down as soon as I started doing that. And I don't think we need to worry about your parents. I saw your dad passed out in the chair from the living room window. Watch. <laughs> Do you hear that? How loud he's snoring? It doesn't sound like he'll be waking up anytime soon. I think we'll be alright. Scooch over, honey bun. <laughs> Time to put this cuddle session into overdrive. Yeah, cuddle up to me again like that. Here, let's get closer this time. Now I can put one hand in your hair, 
and one can rub your neck and back just like this fingers in your hair hand on your back fingertips brushing along your shoulders down your back ah, I love the way you just melted into me like that I love feeling you against me. I love you. I love you so much. You're doing so good, my love. I know life gets hard sometimes, and everything can seem so overwhelming, but I'm here for you, really. Whenever you need me, day or night, I'll always be here. No matter what. I'm also very proud of you. You know, I don't think I've ever met anyone quite like you. And I'm so glad to be able to know you. You're just... Uh, you're just... So much. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try to do a better job of explaining. You're so emotionally intelligent, you know? So willing to accept personal growth and accept that sometimes you're the one that needs to change in a situation. I really appreciate that about you, honestly. It shows that you care about yourself, how people see you, and how you see you. I remember when you let the young mom have the last gallon of milk at the corner store. Or when you helped that old woman pick up all the groceries she dropped and helped put them into her car. I remember seeing her cry and telling you about how her husband had just passed and you held her. You loved her. No one else would have given that woman a second glance, but you did. Because you are so loving and so kind. I just... I love you, for so many reasons. I could go on for hours and hours, <laughs> but I'm just so glad you're mine. I'm so glad that I'm the one who gets to know you. I get to be the one who gets to love you. Ah. <sighs> so happy you belong to me. You feel so much calmer already. You feel good under my fingertips. I love you so much. So, I noticed this book by your bedside. It's poetry, right? Hmm, yeah, I thought so. Would it be okay if I read you some poems? <laughs> I'm glad you like the sound of that. Sorry, one hand's gonna have to hold the book. But I'll keep rubbing your back, love. You comfy? Sure? <laughs> Good. Remember when you were little and your imagination ran free? The dragon under the stairs and the boiling lava between the sofas? At night, you were an astronaut jumping on your bed under glow-in-the-dark stars. By day, you were climbing mountains, running through jungles and racing cars. Now you're a little older and you wonder if the imagination will disappear. But hold on to your dreams. Without imagination, the excitement of possibility is lost. There is so much wonder in dreaming. Hold on to your imagination. I'm glad you liked it. Would you like to hear another? I take your hand all through the seasons, just to remind you that you can make it. 
even if every other reason in your life suggests you might not see the morning. I wish I could reach you in the moments you believe it's too late and the world may disappear. Just hold on. I'm here for you. I love you. A lot. I'm glad I could help. I'm glad you feel better. I'm always here, no matter what. <laughs>